Greer School is definitely a community. We're our own little entity from all of our sports facilities, our academic facilities. Everything is right here on campus within walking distance. We have dormitories available for the students. We set up two bedrooms with a shared full bath. So we have a very nice social unit, which we call a suite. Typically, juniors and seniors live in the outside cottages. They have not only their dormitory room, but a little kitchen and a little living room area. I sometimes hang out with like our house moms. Their room is always open and you can go in and have like conversations with them, talk about your day. I live far away from my family. I need a mom here. And my house mom is really nice. They just treat me as her daughter. Treat us like Yeah, it's daughter. like our second and third mom. You know, I have all sorts of things for you guys to do. Do you like it on the weekends when you can go? different places. Yeah. There are two main areas for day students. We have lockers and couches and TVs. The day student program has close to 50 girls in it. We're involved in the community just as much as the boarders are. At the beginning of the year for the first season, I was on the soccer team. That was a way for me to become friends with a lot of new people. They've never played soccer before. They've never tried out for the sport, but we take them and we teach them and we just go out and we play and we have fun. I'm in varsity tennis and I really like that. It's kind of like a de-stressor for me. I go out and I exercise. I'm a member of the Community Service Club and we get a couple emails a week offering different programs that we can help out with. We have astronomy, um, cooking, Envirothon. There's uh, different art clubs that you can join. There's a knitting club. During the weekend, we offer five outside events and then once a month, we try to offer what we call a major event, which could be a trip um, to Pittsburgh, New York, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. The activities may range from a concert that's coming up or to go to different restaurants. I have enjoyed going on the movie trips. For me, is shopping. <laughs> Walmart. The mall. The mall. Yeah, the mall's a big <laughs> a one. It's a popular one. Being a girl, you don't get to see a lot of boys, but the activities directors set up dances with a couple of boys' schools that aren't too far from here. The Spirit Week at Greer is kind of crazy. They have a day where all the girls dress up as boys. During Thanksgiving, we all have to dress up to eat Thanksgiving lunch and dinner, and everyone looks really nice on that day. The food at Greer is really good because they have so many different options. They have a salad bar, Chinese food, and it's the most exciting days. Oh, I'm <laughs> waiting. I'm waiting for some kind of meat and rice, tacos. I think it's the exciting part. And they really accommodate all of the different cultures. Uh, the food here is like really good, but at the same time, you need to go buy some snacks for your room. You would go to like Wegmans or Walmart or Target, anywhere they have food, and like go and buy some like pretzels or like popcorn or cookies or anything. Because <laughs> um, because you get hungry during the study hall. Let's be honest here. Like I get hungry. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of like a sorority. Okay, 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 radioactive, that's the one. It's all of us in one house and you know, we're cooking together or watching TV or watching movies and you're just, you're always with your friends and then in that way they become family. 